Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be unboxing an M3 iMac <laughs> and this is going to be actually more of like a vlog style video so we are about to move onto the floor because the iMac is pretty big and we're gonna need a lot of space. My iMac was due for an upgrade as you could see. It's from 2017 and it's been working okay but it has been kind of slow lately. I decided to get the new M3 iMac which I'm so excited. I was hoping that they were gonna have like something that looked different but they didn't they just copied the same imax as always but i still got it because honestly like i'm ready to get a new computer and i don't feel like waiting so we'll get into it after we unbox it because i'm sure you're like waiting to see the unboxing okay so we're on the floor and here is the imac it's in this nice square looking box and i'm just gonna open it We need to like back up. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Let's flip it around. There's the box. Wow, it's so beautiful. The box on the edge is a little bit crushed, but let's just admire for a second. It says iMac on the top nice strap there's the back of the box as you could see i did get the model that has the four ports because i'll explain later and then here's the side and let's just shut up and open it now this video is a lot more challenging than i anticipated because this thing is so big amazing i almost want to like put this on the floor we're on the floor Am I doing this right? <laughs> like, I don't even know. Should I lay it down? Probably should lay it down. Okay, I keep opening it the wrong way. But look, hello. Wow, it's so white and clean inside. According to this, you just kind of like, oh my goodness. Am I good? How do people do these aesthetic unboxings? Like, I really don't know if I'm doing this right. <laughs> this is like the opposite of aesthetic. Wow, it's so clean. It's so clean. All right, let me set this down. This is way harder than opening an iPhone, let me tell you. So we've got these boxes. I don't know what that's for. We're gonna take it out. Wow, it's so light. It's like a feather compared to my other computer. All right, so we're just gonna set this back here. Look how beautiful the accessories are in here and it's all like perfectly organized. That is amazing. Sorry this video is so chaotic, but I've never unboxed an iMac before and I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So let's go through the accessories together. We've got the keyboard, as you could see. And this one actually comes with the Touch ID on it, which is really nice because then you can log into your computer really quickly. So something that people were annoyed about is the fact that it still has the lightning port when it's like everything is switching to USB-C. But as you could see, this keyboard does have the Touch ID in the corner like that, which is really cute and it doesn't have the number pad which is something I'm used to actually but it's still really beautiful and I think I'm gonna like it and then I did get a magic mouse I already have like two of these but something I like about this one actually is the bottom has like these white rubber feet versus my other one it has black so that's gonna be really clean I suppose the rest are just like cords and stuff so this is a lightning cord for the accessories this is the power cord that I will open so here's one piece <laughs> I don't know. This isn't meant to be professional. And then this is the power brick section of the cord. I'm a little rusty at vlogs. I'm sorry. It is interesting that it has this brick like this because the other iMac is just like one cord, but this has this little box on it. So basically this goes into this. And then this part is actually magnetic into the iMac, which is cool. So that's the power cord. We also have this with the stickers. And actually for the iMac stickers, they give you like color coordinated ones, which is nice. This one is cool because it's actually like a silver apple, which is very different Usually they give you two stickers, but I guess they decided to just go with one So that's everything in the box as you could see this was a bit of a mess But I guess we should actually like set up the iMac and then we can turn it on and just look at it And then we'll talk a little bit more about like the model that I picked and why I picked this one And basically like the whole story behind it So let's move on to the desk and let's actually set this thing up. So here's what my desk has 
has been looking like. As you could see, I'm going for a very minimal style here. So this is my 27 inch iMac and it's time for her to at least move into another spot. I don't know if I'm gonna be getting rid of it because it's a great computer to be honest with you. But like, as I said, I'm ready to upgrade. So let me just go and unplug this. Goodbye. <laughs> That was a little dramatic, but whatever. This is what I was talking about. The mouse is black on the bottom. And I'm used to this keyboard with the numbers on it, so we'll see. By the way, this iMac is double the weight of the other iMac, so it's about to get really light and feathery in here. Here we go. <laughs> Me and this iMac have gone through a lot together so i would feel really sentimental about getting rid of it because literally that's my whole youtube career and it's been with me through everything anyway let's move on to the new one this is so much lighter it literally feels like an ipad i'm not even kidding it's so light and easy to move like i'm barely even touching it i'm so out of breath but this is a full body workout in imac unboxing all right so let's do the back so there's these little peel things we'll just go like this I don't know how people film iMac unboxings and make it look so cute. This is so difficult. <laughs> Yay! And there it is. Hello! <laughs> how cute. I have to take a picture of this. It is so light. I just moved it with one hand like it was nothing. This is so exciting. I really need to like stop, but I'm just so excited. This iMac is getting me through life right now. I'm not even kidding. Let's peel the front. Wow. I actually love the white bezels. I think they're so beautiful, especially if you have lighter walls, they just blend right in. It's not like this black stark thing. So, oh my God, it's so perfect. <laughs> so let's plug in the power cord. This is actually magnetic, so all we have to do, I cannot believe how light this is. Like it literally is an iPad, but it's just magnetic. It goes right into the back. And then we'll just put this over the side. Now, as you can see, this has the gigabit internet thing. When I get this set up, I'll talk about like why I picked this specific iMac. Because there's actually some tea about the iMacs that I think you guys should know. Okay, I'm going to try to lift this without getting my fingerprints on it. Because I don't want to mess up the screen. <laughs> this is such an awkward angle. Oh! Okay, it is a lot smaller, but I feel like I could breathe actually like even how much of this base is not covered up anymore Like it's so airy. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie though I was waiting for Apple to come out with the pro model and they just didn't so that's why we have this but I'm like Thoroughly pleased with this like I'm very happy with this. So let's plug it in and let's say hello for the first time ever we got the keyboard. It is a lot smaller. I don't know if I like that or hate that. It's different. <laughs> it's different. Let's get a more in-depth view here. I want you guys to experience this with me. <laughs> I'm also gonna record this on my phone. Here we go. Yay. <laughs> this is so awkward. <laughs> okay. So it's telling me to turn on the mouse, which I have. It looks so cute. It looks a lot cleaner. Like I'm already noticing how small the bezels are. I don't understand how Apple sold something with like inch bezels up to like 2021. Use English as the main language. Okay, so let's set it up together. <laughs> this is so cute. I'm like so excited. All right, pair your keyboard, turning that on. The mouse actually makes a slightly different noise. It's a little bit deeper in pitch. I don't know the Wi-Fi password, hold on. Okay, sorry, the computer had to update and I took a little bit of a break, but we are back. So it's asking what county, <laughs> what county? It's asking what country that we're in. So we're in the United States, data and privacy. I'm not gonna move anything over. I like to start everything fresh. And let me sign into my Apple ID. Oh, I'm used to the number pad. I already just reached to try to use it. I should have just got the number pad. Anyway, first impressions, I'm really liking the computer. It is a lot smaller and I'm not used to that. It's definitely feels a lot more like shrunken in if that makes sense. 
but it also feels like so free like i'm actually in love with the white bezels and i really didn't expect that to be honest with you just because it is so easy on the eyes like there's no harsh lines it's just all like white monochromatic now we're creating a computer account let's pick a cute little picture usually i do like <laughs> A cute emoji. I guess because it's the fall time, I'll just do leaves for now. So once we get this set up, I'm going to do like a little bit of an office tour and I'm going to show you guys the desk that I set up because this actually has been like completely transformed over the past couple weeks. And I've been trying to make like a really zen workstation because I spent a lot of time in this room working. I work on the computer almost every day. So I decided to make my workstation like really peaceful and like so Serene because to be honest like I'm not going through the best time in my life so I feel like to have the station has been really helpful and it brings me inspiration and like gets me through the day to be honest so that's kind of why I got this iMac and why I've made this like setup because I just want something that inspires me and if you get anything out of this video I just want you guys to do stuff for yourself and do things that brighten your day because honestly like I've just been like going through it honestly and I woke up and I was like, I'm so happy like my iMac comes and it just like made me happy and just made me feel better Not that like an iMac buys happiness or anything, but it just keeps you inspired I know that this is gonna be something that I spend a lot of time on and make additional memories with just going through more of the settings and now we're gonna set up touch ID on the keyboard So as you can see we've got it at the top right like this this is actually new, I've never had this before, but I'm really excited about it because I hate having to type in my password all the time. Now we've got Apple Pay setting up. So this is cool because when you have the Touch ID on the iMac, you can actually buy things just by like using your finger and it uses the Apple Pay, which is really cool. All right, so we are officially in the iMac. Let me like zoom in a little bit just so you can see. Like how beautiful. Now that we've set up the iMac, I'll let you guys like admire it as I talk. I got the iMac 4 port edition. There's one with two ports, which is like the base model. And I actually ordered that one first, but then I found out that the base model only has one fan inside versus this one that has two fans. And apparently that makes a big difference on the performance. And I just felt like in my soul, I was gonna regret getting the base model, especially because I was already questioning the two port thing to be honest. So when I found out the fan thing, I just canceled my order and I was like, no, I need to get this one. And I'm so happy that I did. I completely forgot to mention the other reason that I picked this iMac was because the base model iMac is an 8 core GPU and the one that I picked is 10 core. And I actually found out some tea. I don't know if this is completely true, but I would say it's like pretty true. The reason that the base model iMac has less cores for the GPU is because they're basically using the chips that didn't fully pass for the 10 core so some of the cores have been like either failed or disabled so that they don't like waste the chips so they're basically putting the ones that aren't like perfect chips into the base model so that's like another reason that i was like no like this i'm getting <laughs> the other one so just some info for you I also ordered it with 16 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage. So I think that's gonna be pretty good because honestly, like on my old Mac, I only had eight gigabytes of RAM and I started to notice it getting really slow and like very choppy, especially when editing videos. So I feel like this is gonna be a lot better. It did take almost two weeks to ship, which was like so excruciating to wait for. Like when I tell you I was stalking UPS, like I have problems. I watched this thing go from Shanghai, China to Alaska to Kentucky to Tennessee all the way to Charlotte and like I just have mental issues. I literally found the freaking plane <laughs> that took the iMac from Alaska to Kentucky and I watched the plane like from the flight radar app because I have no life and I was just so freaking excited. So you could say it's been a very long journey for this iMac. This is super exciting and the light is shining. Like can we just admire the beauty? It just looks so perfect. I built this whole office setup honestly just to make the home for this iMac because I just wanted it to feel like, I don't know, like super inspiring, very 
very beautiful like very peaceful and just make like a really nice place to spend my days and feel like at ease and I'm really happy with it I can't wait to like play with the iMac I can't wait to like download my sims and like edit videos on it and it's not gonna lag like I just cannot wait as you're watching this this is the first video that has been edited on this iMac so like I'm just so thrilled and so happy with this and yes I was disappointed that Apple didn't change the iMacs this year but I still love this and I'm just so happy and I got the silver one because honestly like the pink one is cute but the red back is disgusting to be honest like i hate that like red and pink don't match so all the other colors i knew i'd get sick of and i'm just so happy i went with the white i just think it looks the most like classic apple looking it reminds me of the imax that are white on the front like from my childhood so i'm just really happy with this but i'm gonna stop talking and i'm gonna start showing you guys my desk and do like a little desk tour and show you guys where i got everything and just kind of like talk about my setup i will play with the imac more probably in another video this was really just supposed to be like a vlog of opening it and kind of seeing the vibe i guess but i don't want to get into like setting it up or anything like that yet i just literally wanted to open it and show it to you guys anyway let's get into the desk tour so here's the desk at a glance and as you can see i just keep it very clean and minimal looking and i'll tell you where i got everything what i have here for the desk are ikea alex drawers i just have one set of drawers on each side and then the top is actually an ikea countertop i will link everything below for you guys but this is a laminate wood countertop it actually has like this really pretty grain to it i don't know if you could really see that but it has a nice texture to it and it's like an ash almost like a blonde color which i love it's very neutral on the top i just have these little christmas things from the target dollar section and this candle also this coaster i have in here so i did organize all my drawers really nicely also don't mind my dog's bed <laughs> but i have these acrylic drawers for everything inside so here's just a glance of how i've organized everything and i'll even link all the office supplies below but these coasters are so cute i use them for my coffees and they're just a vibe also these little cloud box cutters are so cute then i have markers and highlighters organized by color and then in this one i actually have this planner that i use every day as well as some more pens and stickers then in this one there's more journals this one is just important paperwork so i just keep it at the bottom now for the top here obviously we have the imac which i will link and describe all the specs below this riser is beautiful and it's such good quality it's like super thick it doesn't bend at all it's not like cheap or anything so this exact riser i'm so happy i got a lot of the ones on amazon are either like too short where it's like awkward looking so this one is the perfect length and again it doesn't bend at all it's super thick then i have this stand for my phone and then i have a nice tan mat and the imac accessories here which is so cute on this side this is a little more basic but i have this pompous grass i just wanted something that looked like a plant in here but wasn't like clashing i got those and then also these vases they looked really cute without the grass in it too almost Almost like a kim kardashian vibe and they're really cute because they have almost like this speckled texture they look very organic then i have a nice little candle from bath and body works and then in here i have more like tech and filming stuff and iphone cases this is stuff i use to um assemble jewelry for my website as well as in here i just have like a bunch of crystal beads and stuff like that here is just paper in this one and then the bottom is kind of like my tech drawer look how cute this iphone 5 honestly one of the prettiest phones apple has ever made i have my nintendo 3ds and just all these little tech things you may be wondering where i got this beautiful chair this is also from Amazon and it's this really cute like boucle texture and I like it because it swivels like this but it doesn't have wheels on it so it's very quiet and it stays put and I thought the legs looked really cool as you can see the office is 
really coming together and the iMac was honestly the finishing touch thank you so much for watching and I really hope that you guys like the iMac and I'm really excited to actually use the iMac and start playing around with it and downloading all of my things so if you take anything out of this video I hope you guys get inspired to make your own little like zen place whether it's like your bedroom or your living room or your office anyway I'm sick of talking I want to play with my iMac and I'll see you guys in the next one bye